Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Don of AhmedDon.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing and brief review video and today I'll be opening the Smart Devil Cool Portable Humidifier. So you are looking at the humidifier right here and uh, the reason I bought this, I have a big humidifier but uh, you know I feel uh, lazy to just go back and forth to put water and uh, you know it's so big that you know it doesn't make sense to carry from here to there. So the benefit of this that you know it is rechargeable. Uh, it has a uh, 3000 uh, mAh uh, battery, so you can just you know charge and take it to anywhere. Uh, you can uh, put it on your desk, and when you sleep at night, you can uh, take it with you uh, near the bed. And it also has a built-in uh, night lamp, so you know it will give you some uh, night light. And some other features are this is very low noise, uh, below 28 dB, which is almost uh, like having no noise. And the water tank capacity is 1000 uh, milliliter and uh, you know it can run wirelessly five to eight hours so which should be you know good enough for uh, you know when you sleep or when you work so for that reason I wanted to uh, buy this and try and this is not expensive at all uh, the regular uh, price is approximately $30 Canadian and this is not an affiliated or paid review um, all my reviews are non-affiliated unbiased and honest so that way you know that you know I'm not trying to convince you to click on the link to make money off you and uh, this is uh, you know these opinions and insights are totally uh, honest so let's uh, open up the box and then we'll uh, you know take a look at it uh, how it looks and how it works so the box has very minimal uh, packaging or very minimal uh, you know branding on top because if you look here you'll not be able to see the word smart devil anywhere so they even didn't put the name of the manufacturer and they didn't put even other information so it's even like you know hard to know what's in there unless like you know you know that this is a humidifier and on top here it just says uh, excellent comfortable life and here just a little bit uh, just a little word H2O humidifier. So it looks like you know they didn't uh, do much uh, to appeal people to get this. Uh, there's no branding, no nothing. So I'm going to start opening this up and see what's inside. Okay, so it looks like I didn't need any knife or anything to open it. And actually somehow the light got turned on once I took it out I'm not sure why is that maybe I clicked on something okay yes so accidentally I pressed the button so I'll just leave it there and then we have something like a straw or uh, which go, should go inside the humidifier and then here's the cable uh, this should be micro USB not USB-C and then we have here just a small uh, you know instruction manual Okay, so I took out the cover and this is what we have here so you can see that you know this uh, is a very tiny and portable and actually it's very good looking too it's not heavy at all and we have some sort of meter here and most likely you're going to be able to see what's the percentage of uh, battery left or water level we'll uh, look at it very shortly and then here uh, there is a clear uh, like a window round window so this could be for to see the water and then here we have the micro USB port and then here we have the power button and if I take out the whole thing then this looks like you know water uh, tray or here you're gonna be keeping the water and then if you look at here and I have a feeling that you know this uh, straw like thing goes somewhere here but you know I'm going to just show you how it goes inside very shortly so that's basically how it looks when you open the whole thing so I'll just you know try to put some water and see if there's charge so I can show you how the rest of the stuff works the straw like uh, tube is actually a filter and looks like they gave one extra filter but they didn't mention it anywhere so I'm going to just leave that aside so the way it works here uh, there's also a filter in here so you have to just like you know turn this out and the filter is right here 
so you're supposed to soak the filter before the first time use and then what you have to do you have to just insert it this way uh, all the way and then you're going to just uh, put it in here right there there's a filter uh, hole so if you do that then if you push this all the way and just like you know gently uh, tighten it then it's ready so now you're gonna have to just you know add some water in the tray uh, so what I'll do let me just you know fill this up with water and there's actually a sign here for max so you're not supposed to put water above this level so I'm going to just kind of you know uh, do it half of this container so I just filled up the tank with water and you're supposed to use uh, tap water or uh, spring water uh, you shouldn't be using distilled or purified water which will damage the device so now what you do uh, you're going to just you know put it uh, in here and then here uh, through the hole you can you should be able to see the uh, water level whether it's max or below and then once you have everything set up then to turn it off you can just you know press it once and then here you can see that you know the mist is coming out somehow the camera is not catching the mist so let me see if i can put some lights on and now you can see that you know the mist is uh, coming out and if you want to turn the night light on then you have to just you know press it for two seconds and then you can see that you know the night light function is on so right here and then if you want to turn off uh, the night light then you have to just you know press it for uh, two seconds again and that will turn off the night light so pressing this once turns on the humidifier and pressing it for two seconds turns on or off the night light on top of the device uh, you know it shows what is the uh, battery level so for example right now let me just see if I can show it to you without them without okay so you can see that it's like 56 percent power remaining uh, which is not bad at all and this has like you know uh, other safety features for example this is going to turn off automatically if uh, you know the water level drops and then if there's a power failure uh, or water shortage then it just turns off it looks like pretty simple to use and simple to set up and you know uh, because this is rechargeable or portable you can just like you know put it at your desk when you're working so I'm going to just like you know uh, use this for uh, at work uh, and at home at my workstation and when I you know sleep at night then I don't mind uh, I don't mind uh, taking it next to my bed because you know this can last uh, about uh, 14 hours when you charge the battery is fully charged it can last up to five to eight hours so that's not bad at all so overall Looks like, you know, this is a very handy product uh, to keep you healthy. This is going to, you know, get rid of the dry air in your environment, uh, which can cause lots of, you know, health problems. And it's really silent. I cannot hear anything, although it says below 28 dB. But, you know, I think this is actually, there's no virtually no noise. So I, I'm not able to, like, you know, hear anything at all. Overall, I'm happy with the product. Uh, this is comparatively not expensive at all. Uh, if you buy the same thing uh, with other manufacturers, but not port portable or rechargeable, then you can grab it for around 19, 20 Canadian dollars, but this is close to $30 just for being uh, rechargeable. And I think it just gives you added convenience if it's rechargeable. So thank you for watching this video and uh, forget about subscribing this channel forget about liking this video there will be more non-affiliated reviews coming up so i'll see you shortly